Hello guys, welcome back. I hurt Odin's feelings pretty badly. My defense, let me explain. Um, the longer you work with the old man, the more you're like him, so you're very blunt and you're very honest. And I, as I have washed out with various groups and they're making it just a German, not German, I'm sorry, just a Nordic, um, demon, demonic household. The demons having foresight saw this coming. Odin's been kind of pushing the H word for it because you know for a long time he's had an ambition for me to become a heathen. And I finally looked at him today and I said, my ancestors were Mediterranean. I don't even qualify as white depending on who you ask. I can't ever become a heathen. And he just looked like his soul cracked in half. And he, he has actually left. And he's not talking to me now. And then I'm having a talk with the Greeks heard that they were like, she said Mediterranean. And they come running back and they're like, oh, Mediterranean. And I said, yeah. And we spent some today time today looking at articles because, you know, you should look at articles and be well aware of, you know, how were your ancestors treated when they came here? I know because I have family stories. Not well. Okay, we qualified as hired help. That's all the higher we could go. Anybody who, and I'm not trying to step on toes here, was not of a certain origin, did not qualify to do certain things in this country. And I'm being very polite and doing a lot of dancing, but if you have Polish, Italian, or German ancestry, you know what the hell I'm talking about. As various ways of people came in, more and more people got the white pass card, but historically speaking, Italians, Poles, and Germans were not three of those people. As excessive other waves came over and the original white people, <laughs> I feel like I'm doing commercial for pork, um, got nervous, they started handing off pass cards to everyone else, but, you know, Italians were considered white. And to some people, they still aren't. Um, the KKK still is not fond of us, just just in case you were checking. But the funny thing is, Polish people who were certainly not considered white and were considered some kind of dangerous menace have gone on to lead hate-filled anti-whatever groups, and they are now considered white. Which is a really complicated discussion to have, but when you're a mixed-breed mutt, you do get to have those conversations, especially when a god's trying to pressure you into heathenry, which, well, let's admit it, you probably want to have all whatever ancestry. I honestly think it is worth not birth before you start firing up your keyboards. I don't care if you're green and fluent from Jupiter, you want to work with the Norse gods, you do that. But if you're going to enter the heathen community, it then becomes problematic because you know most of the groups are very insular and they're very German. Germanic, I don't qualify. I'm only half German. And that's if they're actually German. One person or a family did one thing one time and they came up with all these other things that might be possibly in the family, like Lithuanian and Romanian and all this other stuff. And I'm like, hey. But, you know, it's like there could be 27 different flavors in our family. Anyhow, we don't know. We're just going by country. Which a country is just like a country, like USA, Italian, German, whatever, Germany, whatever. It doesn't mean that historically speaking, that is where my genetic roots come from. And we were just having that discussion today. And Odin is now not speaking to me because I said, well, technically I'm not white. I will say I'm white because somebody gave my ancestors the white pass card. But I grew up being told you aren't white. And that was by my own family. About, you have to understand, we have to fit in with them. We have to fit in with them. It's why you can never speak Polish. It's why you can never speak Italian. It's why you can never speak German. You have to go out of your way to act like them. And I'm a, I'm sorry if this is hurting feelings, but this is, this is how it was. And don't, you know, don't even mention the family last name too much. Because German. And, you know, don't try to play down any Italian tendencies and try to wear as light makeup as possible, even a shade or so lighter than your skin. I don't wear makeup now, and you would say I'm white because today, unless you were noticeably different, we would say white, right? Actually, Muslims count as white and Caucasian, though a lot of people are going to take issue with that, but... 
you know, at, at the time, there was this thing about lightening your skin off. And it's still weird today. There are still people that will go, well, of course you're white. You're European. All white people are European. And a, a lot of white people are like, oh, really now? When did this happen? <laughs> Who decided this? Because I wasn't invited to this party. And there are people who will say, no, you can never be white because you're, you're Mediterranean or, you know, you're Polish or you're, you know, you're whatever. And really keep in mind, it's just a word someone came up with some, somewhere. We're all part of the human race. But it is a thing we were talking about. And I was saying, you know, so much of our religious or spiritual practice is based on the color of our skin. That Let's admit it. If you see a white Buddhist, you wonder what the hell happened to that man that made him that sad that he had to go and run off and be a Buddhist. Very few people go, that's so beautiful, the Buddha called to him. It's the same thing if you're white and you attempt to practice Buddha on and it never works too too well because you just, you, you end up washing out. And I remember working with the mambo that I worked with and she, she was mixed race as well. It feels weird saying that, but at one time, you know, Italians and Poles and Germans and everything were treated as different races, like different species from different planets that I had a German ancestor one time that married a Pole was a great shame and that's what the one side of the family was German Polish and the other side was German Italian it was a great shame I can't emphasize enough the great shame that we weren't pure-blooded in our families so I had my families that became even muddier so and, and it was a shame and both my parents were very pressured my father was pressured to marry a full-blooded Italian. My mother was pr pressured to marry a full-blooded German to try to make the children more pure. Just so you know, uh, it's it's a thing I think about from time to time. And I know that sounds abhorrent, and it sounds like 1920s or maybe 1620s, and you're all like, what the hell is going on? But that's the world I grew up in. So as I'm I'm seeing this stuff, I'm seeing, you know, people say, you know, we're doing the right thing. We're moving so that, you know, black people and white people and people of all colors and all races have the same rights and can feel the same measure of safety walking down the street. And that's very important to us, you know. And it's very important to us because for a lot of us, we kind of have that unsaid thing of we remember being brought up as you're different and not in a pride way even though you very quietly have a little pride at home this out and about italian pride german pride polish thing that's recent let me assure you that is recent um you know you would be told you had dirty skin you would be told you were you know and where there are polish museums and you know they have very unfortunately they use those same slurs for everyone and Poles would be called all sorts of names because, you know, the people in charge, and I'm trying to be very delicate here, did not want to pronounce her Polish names. So it's it's a complicated thing. So honestly, when I, I'm telling you all that, because when I honestly answered Odin, I was like, I'm not white. <laughs> I'm not white. I say I'm white because I look white, and by 2020 standards, I am white. But it, depending on who you ask, I am not white. And I just broke his heart in two, and he, he went away, and he <laughs> sulking. Nobody actually knows what race he is either, because he just came in out of nowhere. So I'm like, technically, you and I could be from the same background. You know, gods don't have a race, but you know what the hell I mean. I said, but I'm not white. I don't qualify to be heathen. I got Mediterranean blood. You're not getting that out of me. I said, where do you think I get the oily skin from? And why do you think I go ashy half the time? I said, that's the Italian in me. And, you know, I, I look, if you look at the Poles in the family, I look very Polish. And there's some Italian in my appearance that you can tell. And there's just enough of other stuff that I know some of my ancestors had to have jumped the fence here and there. Because I, I look curiously Caucasian? Leaning towards Caucasian? But it's weird, and we're coming to a time when, you know, I know this video is going to make a lot of people angry, but a lot of people are sitting back and going, huh, um, okay, I need to examine my faith, and I need to feel where I feel comfortable, and I need to feel where I feel, you know, wanted and needed. I'm still trying to wrap my head around how I, as a 
person of European descent, let's put it that way, was raised with a Middle Eastern god, but there you go, who was curiously white by the time we got to <laughs> But, you know, that's the thing. Uh, most of us were raised in the Christian religion, and that definitely is not a white European religion. No matter how much you try to rebox him, Jesus wasn't white, which I don't give two shits, but, you know, he was not a white man. As wonderful as he was, white wasn't one of the things he was. And I got oh, back here. And, you know, I think it's why a lot of us do take to Loki. We automatically gravitate towards Loki because nobody can tell you what Jotuns are other than the older, oldest that we know of, race of gods, that we're like, we're going with them because they seem to be other mutt category and we feel most comfortable with them where Odin and the Aesir feel established, like the main, whatever the main group of people is. Vanir feel kind of like that in between, like they could kind of be your distant relatives, but you're not sure. But it was a thing Odin, yeah, not Odin and I, Loki and I used to talk about, and I knew very well when he was calling me, and you run into a lot of heathenry when Loki calls you, that race and bloodline are very important to a lot of heathens for a lot of unfortunate reasons. And I would always ask him, I would say, do you care that I'm a mutt? And I said, I'm a mutt by, you know, just the standards we know. I said, I really don't know what I have in my bloodline. Loki doesn't matter. And Loki doesn't give two shits what you are. He doesn't care if you're green and flew in from Jupiter. He just cares that you're a decent human being and you're willing to do the right thing and put in whatever work he tells you to do. And most Lokians don't listen anyhow, and he knows that, but he just, you know, he just wants you to do the work. Where Odin, unfortunately, has been hijacked by people. And we know that. And he's been hijacked by the whitest of white people. So every so often, even though people would look at us on the outside and say, well, he's white, you're white, we do have that weird disconnect. We do have that weird thing of, it sounds weird to people coming from the outside that never experienced this growing up. But we do have the thing of, why are you talking to me? Because I, I will tell you the truth. Uh, my friends are, are um, Swedish. They're nice to me, but you can tell they can spot the German in me. And all, you know, they're, they kind of don't like German people. They really don't like the Italian in me, and I don't know what they think of the poll, but they get really quiet about that. Really treat you like you're a different kind of person. They try to be nice, good Christian people, but you can tell they think you're kind of, kind of different. You're kind of down there somewhere. And I'm like, I hate being German. So, you know, <laughs> like my stupid German ancestors, what did you ever do for me except for make people in this country hate me? Um, well, actually, it's not my German ancestors. I apologize. It's Hitler. Fuck him. So, <laughs> yay, back here. It's been a thing we've been talking about. You know, growing up, you know, growing up Polish, uh, and my dad was such a fucking racist bigot. Even though he married my mother, he fucking hated her for being Polish. So he had fucking mental issues. So I grew up having the Polish-German side tell me I was a dirty-skinned Italian. And I grew up having the Italian-German side tell me I was a dirty-skinned Pole. And I just grew up looking at my skin, trying to see where I look different from other people. I, and I've even had Italian people tell me, you're dark for an Italian, and I'm like, I don't fucking see it, but okay. So, <laughs> it, it just, it feels like a timely topic, and it feels like one of those things we should talk about, because I know a lot of people get angry, especially now, and they'll go, you're white, what the fuck are you talking about? But historically speaking, my ancestors weren't white. And it, it really doesn't bother me. It's like, well, big deal. We got a kind of intermediate pass card. We weren't full white. You know, we couldn't go to the best places and have the best jobs and marry the best people. Oh, fuck no. But we, we, we weren't treated as poorly as, say, blacks or Chinese or other people. And we know that. We know that historically speaking. We're in this weird fucking middle ground. The cops didn't harass us as much. But we we had this weird middle ground where we were white-ish, I'm going to say white-ish, not as white as the cabinets behind me, but white-ish, white enough, pinkish range of color if you ignore the olive tones in my skin. So, 
it just felt like something I needed to share with you guys because I'm sure a lot of people, you know, depending on what your ancestry is, you remember your ancestors being treated differently and you remember your ancestors being looked down upon. And I'm not saying that to bring up blood, especially now. I don't, I don't give two shits that the English people in this country had a fucking attitude problem. I don't care. They're English. <laughs> Sorry to English viewers, but they're English. They're stuck up. Everybody knows that. Everybody's like, yes. The only thing they managed to do was unite everybody else against them. Like, oh God, they have such an attitude problem. And I, I've noticed it even to today. I've seen English comedians that come over here, and I swear I'm not picking on English people. And they say these incredibly fucking racist things. And I'm like, how the fuck do you people not realize how racist you sound? Whereas Americans are like, oh, Jesus Christ, how did he just say that? How's he getting away with this? England, man, we don't know. And I'm an English major. I, we actually thought we would pick up, um, you know, being English. We would learn the secret to being English. Some of the English majors that studying the mother tongue would teach us something. Not really. Not really, because if you study a lot of Shakespeare, you get to hear what Shakespeare thought of people from other countries. Oh, dear. So... <laughs> And you get to read a lot of English novels about those dark-skinned people from Italy or somewhere else. And the Italians would just be like... Like that. So, yeah. Not good times, not good times. But, you know, we kind of have to get that out of the way, too. The the racism people can have from of other people just because they come from another country um and we have to get that out in the open and air it out and then it can heal and then everybody can be like ah, english people i <laughs> don't get so many unsubs i don't give two shits but it, it was something that you know it was historically painful for people and it's probably going to come up now it feels like loki especially is like la 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 let's go for your bloodline la 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 remember the time your one uncle thought you were all lithuanian la 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 it's <laughs> he's having a lot of fun they thought there were lithuanians romanians and russians in our family too so and the one I told you, the one so many great grandfathers ago, was maybe sort of kind of found in a, a um, Jewish orphanage. So, fuck if I know what we actually are. Human. <laughs> so, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. I hope it didn't upset you guys too much, but it's like, it's one of those things people don't talk about except among other people who have the same ancestry. And it's like, no, we should talk about it. We should talk about growing up, not knowing exactly what you were and still being confused to this day. I'm white, but I'm not. I'm kind of, I got the pass card and I use it. And yet I'm not really because I have been told you're kind of people by white, white people. So <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I am other than confused. I'm Italian. There you go. I, I usually play that because that's what most people read on me, I tell them I'm Italian, so <laughs> there you go. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and again, I hope I didn't offend anybody, but it just feels like Loki's making a lot of us face a lot of our shit, and if you're a mixed breed mutt, and you remember the shame, and the shame of the stories, and the family, the shame that your family didn't keep your blood in. yeah, it's, it's a weird year, it's gonna come up, so I will see you guys later, bye-bye.